Residents of the housing complex say their everyday lives have become waking nightmares. Good evening. I'm Claudine Wong. And I'm Greg Lee. The victims, mostly women of Asian descent, have been robbed and beaten. New at 5 tonight, our crime reporter Henry Lee is live for us in Oakland after hearing from residents. Henry. Yeah, these residents are scared even to leave their complex. That means they're not going on walks to the park, to the store, not doing anything they're supposed to be doing while enjoying their retirement. He beat her. Not only the money, he beat her. She get hurt. Maria Sang says her 80-year-old neighbor was attacked and held up. One of 15 residents of an Oakland senior housing community, most of them elderly women of Asian descent, who've been targeted by robbers over the past month. All the senior scared to go out. They stop all their activities. They scared to go shopping, grocery, walk around this area. Please help us. One day we all get out. We shouldn't be lived like these conditions. On Friday, a woman who lives at Westlake Christian Terrace became the latest victim. Surveillance video shows three guys jump out of a Kia Sereno. They run to the woman at 28th and Broadway, pull her to the ground, and drag her on the sidewalk. But then two workers at Volkswagen of Oakland run out and try to stop them. One robber pulls out a gun, and they drove off. It took me a second to register. I just thought about my family and kind of made me stop because I still wanted to chase them. But Dealership employee John Arose tells me he's seen robbers repeatedly targeting victims from the senior housing complex. It's just very unfortunate and it's disgusting behavior and uh, I will do anything to stop it as much as possible. When is the violence going to stop? Sister Marie Taylor heads the resident council. Not only are they just grabbing and kicking them, but now they're using uh, guns to also intimidate and make sure they get what they want. Oakland Chinatown leader Carl Chan is asking for more resources in the form of shuttles, chaperones, and a beefed-up law enforcement presence. They're supposed to be getting respect, love, and care, but instead, they're facing all these crimes, targeting them. We should all be outraged, outraged and disgusted by the fact that our seniors and elders are subjected to violence. Oakland Deputy Police Chief Frederick Shavey says several juveniles have been arrested, but that other robbery crews are still at large. He says police have stepped up patrols. We want individuals in that community to feel safe. We also want to bring some sort of justice to those who have been victimized. Now, at Oakland, police tell me seven juveniles have been arrested. Three of them have been charged, but these holdups are continuing. So these residents are pleading for more protection and peace in their golden years. Live in Oakland, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Yeah, Henry, your heart just uh, goes out to these folks who have been victimized so many times and who are living in fear. Is there a reason they think that that specific area is being targeted, that community is being targeted, and why it just keeps happening again and again? Well, unfortunately, some members of the Asian American community, especially the elderly, are seen as easy targets. So one can only imagine that these separate robbery crews are targeting these elderly for that specific unfortunate purpose. Yeah, hopefully they put a stop to it very, very soon. It can't be soon enough. Henry Lee, thank you so much for that report.